Today we're filming with Tyler from Blastworks. His business has been operating for six years and offers house washing, roof, window and hard surfaces cleaning. Tyler was telling me he loves the diversity of properties and customers in the area and we dive deeper into his journey on the podcast. We'd love for you to check it out. Heading back into the market and as Melbourne braced for level four lockdowns, Sydney continues to show healthy balance between buyers and sellers. Low stock levels are the continuing conversation, still down about 40%, which is allowing auction clearance rates to sit steady around 60% the last few weeks, with most auctions having an average of three bidders. The RBA has left the cash rate on hold at 0.25%, with many banks granting temporary relief for those impacted by COVID. APRA has released data indicating that as of the end of June, $274 billion worth of loans are on hold and are still on the incline. Housing loans make up the majority with $195 billion deferred being 11% of the total. Looking into July numbers, Melbourne house prices dropped 1.4%, accelerating to an annualised rate of 16.8%, while Sydney lost only 1%, and the CoreLogic July index showed house prices fall in Melbourne have quickened since May, when they dropped 1.1%. By June, they were down 1.3%. Since the start of the year, Melbourne house prices have lost 1.1% in value, erasing the gains the city recorded before the pandemic hit. By contrast, Sydney managed to hold on to a slim 2.2% gain despite the challenges around lockdowns and annually, Sydney is still up 12.1%. Following the New South Wales announcement around first home buyer grants, in the past, previous research suggests that the grants have had a vacuum effect where first home buyer incentives are followed by large but temporary spikes in first home buyer activity. This suggests the incentives bring forward purchases that may have happened anyway. The fact that new stamp duty discounts on offer will only be available for 12 months is likely to worsen this effect. The increase in first home buyer participation over a limited time window may actually lead to an increase in values up to the cutoff values of stamp duty concessions. And with the market being as it is, proving a great time to upgrade, this could stop any large negative impact on the New South Wales market. That's all today. Thanks again for tuning in and all the continued support. The team and I have a stack of properties available this weekend and also off market. We look forward to seeing you out and about. Take care.